apparently I'm not meant to be a doctor. <laughs> Me putting on these gloves. Yeah, y'all see him do that? Mm -hmm. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video will be the first addition to the hair vlog series I'll be doing on my channel. Going straight into it, I mixed the colors 120 blue black and 121 jack black with some warm water. Apparently, I'm not meant to be a doctor in a past life because... <laughs> Me putting on these gloves. Oh my God, it should not be this hard. After mixing the hair dye with the water, I began dipping the hair into the mixture, making sure I got the hair coated with the hair dye. Now I'm gonna rinse the hair. Once I have all the hair dye out of the hair, I'm gonna just shampoo and condition as usual. Does it look like I was struggling? If you said yes, you was right. When I first shampooed and conditioned the hair and started detangling, it wasn't as tangled as it was now, but I was able to solve that problem in another video that I recorded, so stay tuned for that one. Welcome back. I'll be installing the curly hair that I've been wearing in the past few of my videos. Um, and you, here, come on, Car, Karen, go. In the past clips, you saw me dyeing the hair. I colored dye the hair and deep condition it. Now I'm installing the hair. What I did to my natural hair is I shampooed and conditioned it, and then I just braided my hair into these four braids, two in the front and then two in the back, nothing fancy, just something to get my hair out the way. And then before I put on the wig, I'm going to put on hair oil. This is the Miel Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. I did not blow dry my hair before but since this is curly there's really no point of me blow drying my hair just to wet my leave out and i find that this is just easier than blow drying it so i'm gonna take these two or the uh, four braids and i'm just gonna pull them to the opposite sides 
And then I'm gonna grab a bobby pin and just secure it. Okay, so this is my leave out. This is how much hair that I'll be leaving out. This is a V part. Honestly, I might have could have left less hair out, but it's okay. So this is the wig. Um, this is after I dyed it. This is the wig. And the inside it has two clips on the side, then one clip in the middle. Then it has the combs and then the comb in the back and then the adjustable strap. I kind of just like plop it on and then just start installing it. And then I'm gonna pull the back all the way back. So this is how it look, looks. I'm gonna do a 360. So yeah. So now I'm gonna quickly define the hair. I'm taking a water bottle. Um, I got this water bottle from Dollar Tree. It's not like the continuous mist one. Um, this is just a regular string, but it's gonna get the job done. take my Miel Pomegranate Honey Blend Maxima Hold Gel Styler for this hair. I also use this hair on, ugh, I also use this gel on my real hair. I actually have a video up on my channel. I'll put it somewhere on the screen. Um, check that out. And I basically did a wash and go with that product and it um, defines my curls really well. Going in, detangling it to wash it, it was a little, I was like, hmm, I don't remember it being like this when I, <laughs> when I first washed it, but. Now I'm just scrunching it. And yeah, this is how it looks. Very easy to define and detangle. Now it's time to um, blend my natural hair with it. So I'm gonna take down the two twists that I have. First, I'm gonna fix my middle part. I'm gonna wet my leave out. Make sure I get the roots because my roots tend to get poofy. Um, so I'm gonna just wet the roots to help with the definition on that. Then I'll just put some leave in conditioner and I'll brush it through. And then you see, just put it in the leave in conditioner, and then my hair blends pretty well with this. Um, with this hair, I think. What do you guys? And then this is the same gel. And look, voila! So I'm gonna take pieces of my hair and the wig and kind of like twist it kind of blend them together so when my hair and the wig does dry it kind of dries together See, it was that easy to blend. 
now i'm gonna go to the other side okay so this is how my hair looks my hair is still damp okay kari come in come on so this is how my hair looks i would say this is like 50 percent dry 60 percent dry um but yeah here is how the back looks and let me know, do you guys notice a difference in the color? I'll be back fully dressed and when my hair is fully dried and I'll show you guys the final look. Four days later, um, I honestly don't really care for the first, second or third day here. Well, I might start liking it by the time it's um, the third day, but I really like it when it's more, um, three to five days looking and it gets you know as you see more poofier and more volume and um i like the frizz that comes with it but yeah this is how it looks this is how the hair turns out bro he's really gonna piss me off because he was he wanted to get out and i just wanted to get in and he run okay runs to the tub i don't know if you guys can see him yeah y'all see him do that mm -hmm. 